memory unit. All computer's data and instruction can be stored in special locations of the computer called the computer memory. Depending upon the type of storage, two basic types of memories are primary memory and secondary memory. Computer memory is an important part of the computer as it stores the data and instruction. It consists of primary memory, read-only memory and secondary memory. Computers nowadays also have a catch memory, register are also a kind of computer memory. The computer memory is used in the following way to store data and instruction. As input storage area where the data is feed is stored until it access. As working storage space used to hold the data that is being processed and intermediate result of processing. As output storage area to hold the result of the processing. As program storage area to hold the processing instruction. In a computer data and information is stored in the form of 0 and 1 bits. A sequence of 0 and 1 form a character in the computer. A bit is the smallest unit of storage in the computer. One bit stores either 0 or 1. Bits are grouped together to form larger values. 8 bits form 1 byte. A nibble is a combination of 4 bits. A group of bits that represent data or instruction in a computer is called a word. A word may be of 8, 16, 32, 48 or more bits. A word forms the basic information unit of the computer. The size of a word depends on the architecture of the computer. Primary memory. The primary memory is the main memory of the computer and the computer cannot run without it. Two types of primary memory are random access memory RAM and read only memory ROM. RAM is a volatile memory that is used to temporarily store instruction and data that are needed during a program execution. It is the working memory of the CPU and stores temporary data but the contents are erased if the power is switched off whereas ROM is a non-volatile memory that stores instruction that are required by the computer during startup. The computer reads the instructions permanently stored in the ROM every time power is on. A primary memory also called the main memory. It is very fast. The CPU can directly access the primary memory and can store the retrieved data from it almost immediately. Primary memory of a computer is often referred as random access memory. RAM is so named because information stored on it can be accessed in any order. The CPU needed not access RAM sequentially to find data. RAM is mainly used to store data and instruction on which the computer is currently working. Data and instruction stored on the RAM can be written over or erased. It is a read-write memory. RAM is also a volatile memory which means that when happened power supply is switched off or interrupted, the information stored in it is lost. RAM may be static or dynamic. Static RAM is RAM written stored information as long as the power supply is on. Dynamic RAM DRAM slowly losses the stored information even when the power supply is on and has to be refreshed periodically. Read-only memory ROM ROM is a read-only memory which means that data and instruction can only be read from it. It is a non-volatile memory. It is consist or not lost when the power supply is switched off or interrupted. ROM comes preloaded with the software for booting and opening the hardware of the computer. Recently, variations of ROM have become available which allow you to rewrite ROMs. 
programmable read only memory prom is a rom that can be rewritten only once erasable programmable read only memory eprom can be erased by ultraviolet light and rewritten electrically erasable programmable read only memory wprom can be erased and rewritten electrically rom or read only memory is a non volatile permanent memory it contents of which can be only read but cannot be altered each computer has the rom bios with permanently stored the basic information needed by the computer during startup after power is switched on this is also called firmware there are various type of roms available a common feature for all these is their ability to retain data and programs forever when during a power failure different types of roms are distinguished by the method used to write new data to them and the number of times they can be rewritten rom these are the first semiconductor roms that contain a p program set of data or instruction p rom programmable rom it is purchased in an programmed state special equipment called a device programmer is used to write the data into the rom the data is written by applying an electrical charge to the input pins or chips one a prom has been programmed in this way it is contained as permanent eprom erasable and programmable rom it is programmed in exactly the same manner as a prom however unlike a prom eprom can be erased and reprogrammed repeatedly to erase an eprom it is exposed to a strong source of ultraviolet light by doing this the entire chip is reset to its initial unprogrammed state it is also sometimes called uv eprom double eprom electrically erasable and programmable rom initially they are similar to eproms but instead of using uv light means ultraviolet light the erase operation is done electrically any byte within an eprom can be erased and rewritten without the need of reprogrammer the whole chip as in an eprom random access memory programmer loaded into the main memory and run from there data is also loaded in the memory for faster access the type of memory in which all these operations are done is known as the random access memory or ram it is so called because the amount of time required to access data stored in ram is the same independent of the location of the data in the ram that is the data can be randomly accessed with the same access time whereas a write operation on a ram is destructive edit operation is non destructive however a ram is volatile in nature and requires a regular supply of power to refresh its contents in the absence of any refreshing supply or when the computer is switched off the content of ram is lost these are available as ic packages commonly called memory sticks in 512 mb 1 gb or 2 gb modules dynamic ram dram a dynamic ram cell is a volatile memory that usually consists of a transistor and a capacitor and the electrical charge needed to be periodically refreshed to the retaining data a dram cells has a very short data lifetime of about 4 milliseconds to retain the data for a long time the dram chip is refreshed as 
regular intervals of time before data is lost as the memory cell needs to be recharged at regular intervals of time. Such a RAM is called a dynamic RAM. It is possible to fabricate a large number of this cell in a small area resulting in a high bit density and low cost. Due to their low price and high packaging density, these are used for the bulk manufacturing of RAM in form of IC chips 512MB, 1GB, 2GB, 4GB capacity. Static RAM or SRAM Unlike a DRAM, SRAM is a type of RAM which can retain its content as long as electrical power is applied to the chip. However, like DRAM is power is switched off, its content will be lost forever. These are made using special memory elements called memory latch. Since the RAM do not require periodic refreshing of the existing data. These are called static RAM and are much faster than dynamic RAM. However, these memories have lost packing densities and hence are costly. Therefore, SRAM is used in application where faster memories and require but used in similar quantities like 512 KB, 1 MB or 2 MB. Various types of RAM packages that have been developed over the year included DRAM, EDO RAM, Extended Data Out RAM, SRAM, Static RAM, SDRAM, Synchronous DRAM, RDRAM, RAMBUS DRAM, DDR SDRAM, Double Data Rate SDRAM, DDR2 SDRAM, Double Data Rate 2 SDRAM etc. Catch memory. Catch memory is a small memory that operates much faster than the primary memory. When the CPU requires certain data stored in the primary memory, in first second the request to the catch which stored recently used data and information. If the data is present in the catch, it is made available to the CPU. This improves the computer speed and efficiency as accessing the cache is faster than accessing the primary memory. Even a small cache that is able to store about 1% of the data stored in primary memory can reduce the average memory access time significantly, thus improving the overall performance of the computer. Cache memory is also a type of volatile memory like RAM but is much faster than RAM. It is basically made using static RAM technology and hence the access time of cache memory is faster than that of the RAM. It is thus used to temporarily store active data and instruction during processing and functions in between the CPU and the main memory contain a number of irritative loops. If an instruction is executed, there is a likelihood of the same instruction being executed again soon. Similarly, while working with tables, records or arrays of data, the processor works with the same set of data over a short period of time. This type of instruction and data that is needed frequently is stored in the cache memory of a computer for faster access. When a program is running and the CPU wants to read an instruction of data, it first check if the same is available in the cache. If it is found, it is delivered to the CPU. Otherwise, a block of memory including the request information is fetched from the main memory. This block of instruction is then copied to the cache memory and delivered to the CPU. During execution of the program, it is like that there will soon be likely that references to the other word in the block recently stored in the cache. Thus, the next time of the CPU attempts to read a word, it is very likely that it will find the same in the cache. This saved the time 
to again access the data from the main memory. A computer system can contain more than one cache memory. For example, a Pentium group of processor have two different caches referred as the L1 and L2 cache. The L1 cache is embedded into the processor chips while the L2 cache is located outside of the processor chips. Buffer memory. The term buffer memory in a computer is used to refer to as area of the memory that is used for temporary storage of data. While it is being removed from one place to another, buffers are typically used when there is a difference between the and the rate at which it can be processed. Usually, the data is temporarily stored in a buffer as it is retrieved from an input device such as keyboard or just before it is sent to an output device such as printer or speaker. Buffer can be created in a fixed memory location in hardware. However, a majority of buffers are implemented in software which typically uses the faster RAM to store temporary data that is helpful as the access time of RAM is much faster compared to the hard disk drives. Among the various applications of buffer, these are used by printers to store the process data from the computer. It is then supplied to the printer as per speed of the printer. Another example of buffer use is in streaming online multimedia content. Without the use of buffer, one would either have to wait for the entire file to load to the local machine before playing it or have playbacks with breaks and jumps created by millisecond delay in the incoming data stream. Memory register. Apart from cache memory, the processor contains several special high-speed memory registers located inside the control unit and alternative unit. These are used to store the current instruction and data, address of the next instruction to execute an immediate result of any calculation done by the a register can be 8, 16, 32 or 64 bit in size. This is sometimes called OR size. The processor directly communicates with this memory register to access data and instruction. There are several functions of important register are memory address register MAR used to hold the address of the current memory location. Instruction register IR holds the current instruction that is being executed. Program counter PC holds the address of the next instruction to be executed. Input output register these are used to communicate with the input output devices. Accumulator is used to store the result of any arithmetic operation in the ALU. Memory buffer register MBR this is a buffer register used by the CPU to store data which is being transferred to the form and immediate storage like RAM. Data can enter to leave a register either serially or parallel. Thus there are four categories of register depending upon the way the data enters and leaves the register. These are serial in serial out SISO, serial in parallel out SIPO, parallel in serial out PISO and parallel in parallel out PIPO. Secondary memory or auxiliary storage. Since a computer main memory stores data temporarily and has less storage space, secondary memory is required to bulk storage of programs, data and other information. It has more capacity than main memory. Secondary memory is non-volatile. However, secondary memory is slower but much cheaper than main memory. Some secondary storage devices are magnetic disk, a hard disk, optical disk, CD-ROM, DVDs, Blu-ray disk, flash memory, pen drive, etc. 
magnetic disks magnetic disks are made of circular platters that are coated with magnetic material usually on both side therefore data and instruction are stored and retrieved magnetically from this disk a hard disk a hard disk is a magnetic disk it is made up of a rigid metal it contain multiple disks known as platters each with its own read write head these platters are coated with an with a material that allows data to be recorded magnetically optical disks optical disks such as compact disks read only memory cd rom digital versatile disks dvd and blu ray disks use laser to read and write data cd roms can store about 700 mb of data data is permanently stored on a cd rom during the manufacturing process cd rom can record data only on one side variation of cd rom such as compact disk recordable cdr and compact disk rewritable cdrw allows us to write data on a cd dvds can usually store up 4 gb data while they look the same as cds data is stored in dvds roms permanently during the manufacturing process similar variation of dvds like cds dvdr and dvdrw allows writing data on a dvd these are dual layer dvds also that can store data on both side such as dvds can store approximately 8.5 gb data blu ray discs have even greater capacity of approximately 25 gb these discs use blue laser to read and write data a dual layer blu ray discs can store up to 50 gb data sony playstation 3 console incorporates a blu ray drive a blu ray drive is required to access a blu ray disc flash memory flash memory is an electrically erasable and writable memory that is used widely pen drive and memory cards are example of flash memory devices these are non volatile storage devices a pen drive also called a flash drive or usb drive it is a small portable device that is used to store access and transfer data it comes in various storage capacities ranging from 16 mb through 1 gb to 1 tb it is popular because it is easy to use and small enough to be carried in your pocket it is connected to the usb port of a computer for reading or writing data memory sticks or memory card it is a storage device used in portable devices such a camera and mobile phone it can be easily removed from the devices for access by a computer smart cards are cards that contain a chip most of the credit and debit cards are smart card petrol companies and departmental store also issue smart cards to their customer to keep track on their purchases smart card are two types memory cards which only contain a memory chips and microprocessor card which contain both memory and microprocessor components microprocessor card allow you to add delete and multiple data on the card whereas memory cards can only perform and inbuilt operation 